Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Melty Blood. So we are going up to the H path. Now that we have won against CL, we're on the one named Chaos. Sin, you are guilty. That's right, you're guilty of stealing uh, souls, meat buns, I don't know. The joke was, the joke was guilty gear. Sion, about what Senpai said earlier. Yes, what is it, Shiki? How should how she would have taken you into protective custody and barring that use force? I imagine that wouldn't be so gentle. Nissan, aren't there much more important things you need to worry about, such as the fact that it was my birthday a few days ago and you didn't upload a melty blood part on that day? It is alright, Akiha. There are some things I intentionally have kept quiet about, and it is the bare minimum for partners to answer when asked questions. As the agent says, I am a wanted criminal. Shiki, I told you how I belong to the Atlas Academy, right? Mm-hmm. I became estranged from Atlas. Those who learn in Atlas must stay their entire lives. Well, it is not anything official. Leaving would be a violation of an unwritten law. I have been breaking that law for three years. So all that protective custody is just to return you. But still, that doesn't mean Senpai had to attack you. Yes. Atlas is one part of the Madra Association. Even if she says there was a request of the Church, the two organizations have always been antagonistic. For the Church to accept such a request means they both agree I must be caught. Then are vampires involved? It happened three years ago. I fulfilled the request by the Church for an advisor uh, from Atlas to deal with the dead apostle. This dead apostle was once an alchemist. Representing Atlas, I was joined in the I joined in the punitive expedition of the knights. It ended tragically. All the knights were destroyed and the entire village the apostle took root in was destroyed. As the only survivor, I did not report back to the church nor did I return to Atlas. I've been pursuing that apostle since then. So that's why you're being chased? Then the vampire in this town is three years ago. The vampire I failed to catch. The dead apostle named Tatari. In that case, things are simple. Even a dense guy like me can see how things are. Sion, you already took part in the church's effort to exterminate the vampire. So why are you still pursuing it? That is... Sion stops. This is the first time I've seen her hesitate like this. But that must be why. What's been nagging me since I first met her. The girl who walks around only at night. Senpai said she can't leave Sion alone. And the reason she seeks a cure for vampirism... That has to be... Enough already. This is no time to ask questions, right? If what Seal Senpai says is correct, the vampire will appear soon, right? Then we have to hurry before there are any victims. Akiha, you... Talking just wastes time. Seal, if you need to tell us something, isn't it something else? You need to tell us something, isn't it something else? Okay. We don't even know what the vampire looks like. That's right. Akiha's right. What we're talking about doesn't really matter. Of course. Goodness, you always get so off track, Nissan. Please be more careful in the future. Sorry, I'll keep that to a minimum. Or keep that in mind. As long as you understand, it is all right. So, Sion? Uh, yes, Sakiha? Can you tell us about this Tatari? It is hard to fight without knowing what kind of enemy we face. Yes. Tatari is the alias of a dead apostle. This individual does not have a specific name, so it was given the name Tatari. Tatari? You mean like a curse? Yes, it comes from the language of this country, a custom within a small enclosed community, a curse which occurs from breaking a taboo. The dead apostle in this town is one which is a curse born from human anxiety. So it doesn't have a true form. It takes form, but only for one night. Tatari embodies the uneasiness of others. It uses widespread rumors to accomplish this. The dead apostle Tatari has no form. Because it has no form, it does not exist. The container used by Tatari is just a rumor until given reality. I don't really get it, but you mean the dead apostle makes rumors real? That is the end result. There are some conditions, such as the rumor's basis needing to be humanoid. Okay, that's interesting. That's new. As Tatari was originally human, it cannot act without human intelligence. There are not many communities in which Tatari can occur. In civilized society, rumors of killer vampires are usually not believed. Humanoid. Is that because a rumor about a vampire is something anyone can know? It is because the rumor needs some basis in reality. A woman with blonde hair who appears every night, 
Last year, a young man wandering the streets with a knife, a girl swaggering in town with long fluttering hair. It is obvious they are all based on all of you, and the incident with the vampire was also real. Tatari uses these rumors to possess people already there. If the rumor of a blonde woman, uh, or a woman with blonde hair who appears every night starts to become coherent, Tatari will collect those rumors and truly possess the form of the rumored woman with blonde hair who appears every night. Well, that's why Senpai asks about being real and fake. Then there's a chance a fake me or a fake Akiha could appear? Yes, but you know there is a killer other than yourselves. Even if Tatari assumes your form, even if Tatari can assume your form, it cannot possess you. Hmm. I have a question. This town has changed. Is it the work of the vampire? Yes. Oh, it is a reality marvel. With smaller, isolating com isolated communities becoming less common, it is difficult to create abnormalities in large areas. I see. Then if we defeat Tatari, we can say goodbye to this sweltering summer. I feel very motivated now. Akia smires ra smiles rather fearlessly, despite her cool appearances. She's been affected by the heat as well. Man, it's because she insists on being tough and not using the air conditioner. Couldn't live like that. Could not live like that. I got an air conditioner in my apartment here, and I've been using it, like, every day. Okay, we've got an idea what our opponent is. So, Sion, has the Tatari guy appeared yet? Tatari occurs on the full moon. Whether that is tonight or tomorrow, it intends to make a massacre. Do you know where it will appear? The options are narrowing. If it occurred today, it would, without a doubt, be the back alley. I guess we're gonna go there, right? Here we are, the back alley. This murder alley. We arrive at the back alley. Everything is silent. The air is saturated with oppressive heat and a sense of foreboding. Appear here? What shape will Tatari take? It is not determined yet. Perhaps the true ancestor or something close to her. The rumor which causes the most uneasiness is Tatari's goal. The strongest form in this town is the true ancestor, so Tatari may take that form. That was the originally planned curse. Taking the shape of human rumors, that means it cannot manipulate them. Even if Tatari desires to become Arkwid, if the people in town fear something else, it cannot become a true ancestor. Exactly. Tatari becomes not the strongest existence, but the most ominous. With that in mind, it may become a dead apostle that murdered much in the past. I see. That helps. I wouldn't want to fight a fake Arkwid. I wouldn't feel right, and it would be hard to win. A dead apostle from the past? A truly unfortunate image. Certainly Shiki, or uh, Roa, was a vampire. But I can't equate him with a killer. He did both good and bad. What? Good. Am I crazy? What good stuff did he do? Do you mean before he was Road? Strange. So a killer that would be a true butcher would be. What was he appear? Oh, there he is. It is coming. It would have been the strongest tomorrow. Perhaps the calculations were off. The two of you, please be careful. Horrible noises. Wait, why is he... Shiki, you thought of that here? Uh, what, is it my fault? Did I not say Tatara receives the influences of others rather than possessing them? An impossible monster emerging is the result of people's anxiety. For you, the reappearance of Nero Chaos is the worst curse possible. That's why Tatara could not even wait until a full moon to appear. Ah, I have no way of capturing Chaos. At this rate, it'll be like three years ago. This is no time for bickering. I don't know what that is, but if it is an enemy, we must defeat it. If you two don't feel like fighting, then stand back. All right, I guess she never experienced him. You are right. As you say, we should not be distracted. Whenever Tatari comes, we will capture it here. See on the face of the vampire with her thread in hand. After the black chaos forms, it takes the shape of the butcher from last year. Tatari, I will show you what it means to escape your fate for so long. I mean, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play with the character that I played with the least, right? Let's do this. Crimson Night and Crimson Moon, Misfiction, Not Save the Players, Prayer, Yes, Dance, Romanesque, and un What the frick? I finally read that, and it makes no sense. 
Alright. Okay. 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 Dang, okay. Okay, alright, alright, alright. We're not doing too bad. I did switch controllers. I've moved on to the six-button Genesis controller. Because I really, really like this controller for fighting games. It's a bit strange, but it's real nice. Boy, he just always lets that happen, huh? Or, well, until until he doesn't let it happen. Okay. Oh, cool. That's what I'm here for, baby. We didn't get the command grab, but it's still hit. Nice. Good. The fight is over. The dead apostle Tatari is in the guise of Nero from last year crumbles away. Or Nero, as some say. I hate that name. I will never call him Nero. It really was incomplete. If it was truly Nero... Oh, well, what did I just say? It would not have been that easy. It is over and the battle is decided, vampire. Akia walks closer, probably to finish it off. The Black Vampire. It starts to laugh as if broken. Don't tell me. Ha! Huh, what a farce. Even after these favorable conditions for my body to be defeated. But that is only temporary. Nothing can stop Tatari. If I am destroyed completely here, Tatari will recur. Circumstantially re reliant eternity. That is what I am. I knew it. Just destroying you would not end your phenomenon, Wallachia. Indeed. Too bad, girl. You cannot heal yourself. You should just wait until my unpredictable return on the edge of night, dragging your dirty, filthy limbs behind you. Then... There is one thing left to do. Most assuredly. But can you do it, Eltnum? Sion approaches Nero quietly. Stop it, Sion. Let Akia finish it. You won't know what will happen if you get close. Nissan is right. It is best to destroy something like this from afar. I appreciate your thoughts, but I... Sion speaks, but at the same time, that thing rises up. What? Get down, Akiha! A sudden flash. It has to be the fading Nero's last resistance. Sion, you too! I look for Sion, but I don't see her. But still, in the sea of whiteness, Nero's body is breaking apart. And towards it, someone's figure moving with a speed I've never seen before. It runs towards Nero without, and without any hesitation, bites the black vampire. Light fades. Eyes closed, Akiha's crouched in a ready position. Siona is right where she was, as if shielding Akiha. It seems it is over. That was probably its death throes earlier. Yes, it must have been the release of stored data. After the diffusion of data, Tatari no longer has a form, or at least in this town. This town? Then it hasn't learned its lesson and will come back again? Because Tatari is a phenomenon, there is no way to completely vanquish it. It exists as long as there is human anxiety. That is the nature of Tatari's system, to take the form of human anxiety. So completely stopping Tatari requires the destruction of the human race. I see. But it will not occur in this town again. Then this incident is over. If it occurs in another town, it will have to be settled there. Yes. The vampire you and Shiki need to worry about yourselves over, worry about yourselves over is gone. And the town will return to normal. And the false summer is over. And that's a relief. Then shall we head back to the mansion? Both you and Nissan must be tired, right? Let us rest for the rest of the night. No. After the destruction of Tatari, the agent will not leave me alone. 
so I must leave this country as soon as possible. Oh yes, that person is still around now that you mention it. But do not worry, if you are a guest of the Tono family, she cannot do anything. I thank you for that. But I came here to pursue Tatari. Once gone, I must prepare for the next time. I see. If you say so, I will not stop you. Yes. It was only for a little while, but you have done a lot for me. That can't be- couldn't be helped. If you need anything, please feel free to contact me. I... have no reason to dislike you. I am grateful. It is also hard for me to part ways here. I feel the same way. To be honest, I wanted at least to stay until I became good at using that, but that is just my selfishness. There's no need to worry. I have shown you the basics, so all that is left is practice. Sion hands a key has something. Uh, she's given her the ether light. Well, take care, Sion. As if embracing the ether light given her, Akia shakes Sion's hand. Is she not good with shaking hands? Sion stiffens momentarily before returning the handshake with some difficulty. After the handshake, Sion looks at me. She looks away and... And this is it. The two of you be nice to each other. With a quick bow, she disappears from the back alley. I watch her leave silently. Quiet until the end, Nissan? Hmm? I was just thinking. But what was that about? She seemed to want to shake hands with you, too. Nissan, were you not a little cold? Huh? Oh, maybe I was a little cold. I am surprised. It seems I've misjudged you. Ikea protests my absent-minded response. That's not what it is, really. Actually, assailed by my thoughts, my body feels very numb right now. Hmm. Emmu. Here we are. Hologram Summer, Hologram Summer. Well, that explains that. This is a reality marble. I guess I should have seen that coming. It just makes sense. Dark. Even though the sun has risen, it is dark. The darkness permeates. This hallucination that my skin is painted black. This sensation like my veins are sharp as thorns. The nausea fades, this painful heat, this dry throat. I have never felt it this bad before. I have recovered. This body will no longer degrade. The body with which, uh, which until yesterday was on the brink of death has now become coveted and will receive long, long life. Nothing can threaten me. My body is healed. That which tried to control me is gone. Things have resolved themselves according to my worst case predictions. So there is nothing more to be troubled about. There is no need to be troubled. No, I have no right to be. I've already taken into account being stained black and predicted a better future. And aimlessly, I think of wanting to go outside. This is not a better future. Black as I am, I cannot go outside. At the very least, I cannot bathe in the sunlight. Before, it made me weak, but I at least could stand it. Now, sunlight is instant death. I have to wait until night. Wait until night and go into town. Then it will be over. What happened in this town, what I gained, everything. I came here to deal with Tatari. After becoming like this, there is no point in searching for a cure for, for vampirism. So I have to get out and leave quickly. After the sun sinks and night begins, I must go immediately go to a place where nobody is. But that is strange. Leaving town like this it makes me feel like I am running away from someone. Okay, so she's gone full vampire. Rather early, in fact. Not while well, we're here, but... And she came here. Good evening. Before you left town, I thought you would come here. Oh, her eyes. She looks at me with red eyes. She seems to be entirely different than before. I see. I thought I was just imagining things. My headache acts up again. The feeling of something not quite right when I first met her is now magnified many times over. Sion's shadow seems like a curse that is haunting her. So, how was you right before Tatari disappeared? So you... Yes, I bit Tatari. Why would you do that? That is a meaningless question. You know why. That's why you were waiting for me, here. Sorry, I'm a little slow. If I did know, I would have stopped you then. 
That is true. But do you think I would really tell you? Yeah. You always tell me things whenever I ask about them. I see. Then it cannot be helped. To say it simply, I was bitten by Tatari three years ago. Since then, my body has been slowly turning vampiric and I arrived at this town. That is why I was researching a cure for vampirism. But my research has reached its end. Tatari is a vampire that can appear for only one night. And after it appearing once, it will be a number of years before it appears again, just for one night. Thanks to that, I remained human for that long. But the change was continual and constant. Nearly half a vampire already, I could not resist Tatari's orders. The next time Tatari appeared, I would become a vampire completely. Unable to research a cure any longer, unable to defeat Tatari, I had no choice but to take in Tatari and become Tatari myself. If I became Tatari, I would not be controlled by Tatari. So you became Tatari yourself? Well, this is the worst possible outcome. It falls within cal my calculations. I have no regrets. There is no emotion in her voice. As if to imitate her, I nod and respond with, I see, in an equally emotionless voice. But it's not too late, right? That black haze has not subsumed you. It is just you around here. Yes. Tatari's night was not last night, but this one. When this night comes, I will become Tatari. Are you okay with that, Sion? Yes. When the next Tatari occurs, I will have my answer. Twenty years from now in Australia, or perhaps thirty years from now in, Aust in Transylvania. In whichever case, I would not have been likely to survive. As an alchemist, it is natural to choose the certain solution. Will you kill me, Shiki? No. But I will kill that black thing. That means you will kill me. That part of me that is not Tatari is afflicted and dying. I see. A hard choice either way. In that case... Please do not say this is for my sake. You have no right to interfere. I do. You're my friend, so I don't want to see you mistaken like this. I was mistaken to leave town like this. If I am Tatari's successor, then I must first prove it. Tatari has no need for human emotion. I do not have any emotions left. There can't be any left. I am still just a young girl. In just these past few days, I have received something I have never had before, and that made me human. I knew it. You don't realize it. You don't seem to realize it, so I'll say it out loud. You might think you are ruthless and cruel, but you really are a good person. You can't lie. You're terrible at lying, Sion. You can't even fool yourself. Yes. You are definitely correct, Shiki. The black haze wavers. Power courses throughout her. Quietly, I take out my knife. To make falsehood into reality, I will kill you. Farewell, Shiki. If I kill my first friend, I will certainly become more like a dead apostle. Sion's body disappears. With a calmness that surprises even me, I, gaze, I direct my gaze towards Sion as she approaches. Yo, fight time, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I do like her, like, new color scheme. It's strong. Okay. Fight. Come on. Ah, I missed that. Okay. Alright. Good. Good, good, good. It's so funny how he puts on his glasses and smiles every time. No matter how unfitting it is. Oh, I'm trying to do air combo with the new controller. You know how it is. Okay. Come on. Stop that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Okay. 
Sick. Sick. Gotta do it every time. Whenever the game gives me an option, I'm gonna take it. Because it's just so cool. Yeah. I killed it. How's that for a solid hit? I whirl to face the collapsing Sion. In the culmination of our fight, I delivered my strongest blow to the line running through the black haze around her, and... Sion doesn't fall to the ground. On her knees, she arches her back as if resisting the urge to vomit, and she springs back explosively. Unexpected. I never thought you could kill this. There's no black haze swirling around her. It seems I really killed the Tatari she was speaking of. But the sense of revulsion from her has not changed. Just looking at her, no, just looking at her eyes makes my headache start to pound. But nothing will change. Once I bit Tatari, I became a vampire. All you did was kill this time's Tatari. Damn. Then you mean you... Me being a vampire will not change. I can resist the vampiric impulse because Satari is gone, but it is no different from before. If I if it did change, it only means I will not attack people senselessly. Oh. Then doesn't that make it the same as before? You didn't act like a vampire before this, right? So you don't have to. You can just continue to search for a cure for vampirism and... That is true. I am alive because my goal is to heal those who become vampires. That has not changed even once. The only difference is that the agents of the church will pursue me in addition to the hunters sent by the Magi Association. Seal so Senpai and other people too? Yes. That is why, until I can complete my research, it is unlikely they will leave me alone. Then you can stay with us. He even said that as long as you are with us, they will not move against you. That is a contradiction, Shiki. If I live as a vampire, I can only become Tatari. Yet, if you tell me not to become Tatari, I must find a cure for vampirism. That is correct. However, I cannot complete my research in the Tono Mansion. If I simply wanted to conceal myself as a vampire, living in the Tono Mansion would be ideal. But I cannot remain in this country if I wish to continue my research to find a way to turn people back. A cure requires a sample from my parent vampire, Tatari, and there is simply not enough samples of vampires in this country. I will ask one last time. What should I do, Shiki? I can't speak. That is something I could ponder forever if I wanted to, but the answer wouldn't change. That's right. Being a vampire doesn't really suit you. Yes, that is a wonderful answer. This time it truly is farewell, Shiki. I will not apologize for earlier, as you were the one who stole my comfortable weakness. But I will thank you. It really is strange. I have no regrets, but still, I do feel some disappointment. When I first met you, maybe it would have been better if I lost. Dang. With that, she disappears. I can say nothing to stop her. I can do nothing to stop her. She has no regrets? Once more? Once more, she shows how bad she is at lying. You're gonna search for vampires in that condition? There's no point in saying that, though. All around me is darkness. This hot, silent town. Without a single answer to be found, I continue watching her long after she disappears from view. Dang, that's kind of a downer ending, huh? A little bit of a downer. Not my favorite ending. Definitely. It was fine. But there's been better. Okay, so I'm pressing, like, every button on my controller. There's no skip here, huh? That's fine. At least we get to jam out. This, this game has really good music. Like, really, really good music. I really appreciate it. Someone pointed out that that's Gawain there. That's funny. Considering now he's in, uh, you know, now he's in Fate. That's just a joke, right? It's just, just a funny. God, Raito is so good. Now, Raito... I went to Raito's website. And Raito does have a thing where you can commission him. I'd be lying if I said, once I get a few more, like, it just hit Tomi. Uh, once I get a few more, um, you know, a little bit of money, I may look into actually, like, commissioning a custom Melty style theme for myself, just because I would like that, but I don't know what his prices are like, right? I did see it on there, though. 
that is an option. And having that would be like actually the coolest thing. But I have I've, I've commissioned music a couple times, and I really have no idea how to say what I want. Like maybe I would give a slight hint towards instruments or kind of how it goes, but I don't know. I have no idea. It probably wouldn't be as memey as like the Neko Arc theme. I would probably go a bit more serious. I would love Dynasty Warrior guitars though, right? But that's not really his style. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to actually listen to more of his music to sort of see like how does he kind of. What, what's a few more of the genres that he does? You know, play around, play around, see see with what we could get. Again, that's that's for like the far future. Uh, before we go, well. Hmm. We could go to training, and I let's see here. So, in terms of characters, there's definitely a couple we haven't seen. You know, we're not going to get to play as Nero. So let's actually see how Nero plays here. We fought him enough that we can at least look into his move set because I've not actually played as him. So let's let's give him a try. I'm curious, right? I guess I got to bring up his move list here. Bring up the Melty Blood move list. Because I am I am curious what he can bring, right? So let's go to... He's the last one. Okay. So let's see. All right, so. His moves here. We got A. Uh, has chipping effect. Chip damage, okay? Two hits, ridiculously long range. Second has chip damage. That is ridiculous range. That is stupid range. What is that range? That's a medium. Okay, so then we got... Okay. Both hits have chip. The second can uh, cannot be cancelled into any move. Can the first? Whoa, that's his dash. Okay. Can we go... Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, I don't think I can, okay, so I can cancel the first hit there, yeah. Okay, interesting. So can I, oh, I hate that dash. Okay, so I, let's, weird, okay. Okay, so then we got the crouches. So, three hits. Oh, those are strange. Two hits. That's huge damage on that. It's a thousand some. And then this. Yeah. And that's a launcher. Launcher with chip. Okay. So we got air. Whoops. Air light. Air medium. Air heavy. The second hit draws the opponent closer. Okay. That's kind of ludicrous. Okay, I see, I see. That's four hits on that. Those are wild. And he has no commands there. Okay. His throw. Eight hits. He does have a one-hit air throw. That's rad. Oh, no, he does have commands. Instead of dashing, he teleports. Is completely invincible. The time is by how long you hold it. That's weird. So you can go part way. Okay, so six and C. Oh, shut up. Looks like a launcher, but cannot cancel into anything. Okay, so can we go? Okay, that's strange. The fact that you can't do anything out of that move. I guess you can kind of hit on the ground with it. Oh, yo, there's a lot of character in that back step. There's a lot. There's a ridiculous amount of character there. Oh god, his sprites are so good, actually. Alright, blowback edge. During the first... He has a charged launcher. Okay. Okay. Alright, so let's check out his special moves, though. Um, so... 666 spirits the crow so 236a yep just sends out a bird fast bird b a crow which hovers for a few seconds 
before performing a dive, it will continue to do it even if even if he's doing his stuff. That's ridiculous. All right. Uh, what's what's the C version? That's a lot of birds. That's a ludicrous amount of birds. All right. Now we got Shika, which is uh, four two one three four four two one. Oh, it's the deer. Shut up. That that's just a, that's just a regular. So then the B is a s whoa. They B B deer. Okay. Um. So ram into it before walking away from the screen. For some strange reason, attacks don't have chip. C deer. What a what a terrifying stand. He just keeps going. The deer is so scary. So, 214A, hold then release. Okay. So, you hold it. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. And then we have the... Alright, we have most of those. Then we have this one, which is 214214C. What is that? What the heck is that creature? How much damage does that done do? Okay, what if I launch him? Okay, let's see here. That's stupid damage. That is actually ridiculous stupid damage. Nope, didn't want that. Shut up that damage. Is that actually just... Okay, I'm gonna put on my... my. Okay, so... I need to be crouching. That's for a 100% meter. Look at that damage for a 100% meter. That's, da that's the most insane damage I've ever done. Okay, so then we have... 4126C. Yep. That's so cool. Second hit is unguardable. If you're fighting against Nier and he does this move, guard the first hit, then quickly backstep through the second hit, or just teleport if you can. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's I'm so happy that that looks like that. So if we have him guard... Let's see here. Let's wait for his gauge to come back. So, guarding. Guards that. What is that damage? What is that damage? Do you see that? This is it guarding the first hit and then getting hit. It's like an instant kill. That's stupid. I love it. I love it so much. Can I, can I even combo into that? Okay, let's see here. Okay, so let's go. Uh, no guard. Okay, I want to see if I can do... I want to see if I can just do, like... No, I, I gotta be I gotta be down. Nope. I can't, because once it's in going there... Once it's going there, it won't work. Well, that was kind of cool, but not what I wanted. Okay, and then... Shut up! That is like set. That is like ninety percent damage. Are you serious? That is a ninety percent damage combo. Okay. I want to. I want to try. No. Come on. Okay, I gotta. I gotta remember to keep holding down. See, I want it. Is that gonna OTG? No. Oh, but he was he was invincible during that. Okay, one more time. This that's so stupid. It's so stupid. Oh. So people are saying here's a a there's a 100% kill combo. So you do so it's 2C. So it's it's 2C up Rising 2C. New, actually, is there a Rising 2C? Wait. Wait. 
Okay, wait. So it's it's literally just during the first frames of 2C. So 2C, 2C. So it's 2C up, and then it says R. I don't know what it means by R. It must be rising 2C. So, but literally it's... It's then jump, and then down, and then that. Nope. I don't know how they expect me to do 2C into, into that, but... Oh, is it saying... Is it basically saying do something like that? Okay. No, not really. I don't know what it's asking for that, but yeah, you, you can very easily do almost 100% damage with him. That's, that's so ludicrous. So... Okay, so you gotta be careful about how you do that, because if you do too much damage, you can't do that do that there. Right? Interesting. Interesting. That's just a fun looking attack. Oh, yeah, so depending on where you are, that one doesn't work too great. Okay. I feel like he's going to be a character that gets sort of better balanced as the games go on, for sure. Wait, is that... That one almost, like... Does that bring him in? Does it from the ground? Are you serious? I was... That's a bit of a strange... Yeah. I think it has a hitbox where it brings him in. Okay, cool. All right, I think that's enough there. Checking them out. Sounds good. Next time, guys, we'll move on to another story where we uh, see what we do next. I'm very, very excited to see where this goes with each of them. We'll see you then for some more Melty Blood. Ciao.